is Joey Balistrieri. Welcome to my channel. I am having a super happy day because DHL just delivered my two subscription boxes of beads that come directly from the Czech Republic. I love both of the boxes. In this video, I'm just going to be unboxing the one called Bo M Style. This is a box that is full of findings and Czech glass and you get a code every month on the little insert that takes you directly to a video tutorial and everything that you need and the instructions for making two pieces of jewelry. Now you can definitely make those pieces of jewelry and it's great for newer people or if you're just in a creative slump and you just need to make something and it's all thought out for you. If you're a person that love kit, loves kits, this box is great for that because everything is there. But with me, I usually, um, you know, do my own thing. I kind of take it apart and, and do my own thing. But look how cute this box is. It comes with this little window. I've already taken the beads out, um, but it is just the cutest, like it's just a little box of happiness. I just love it. So we get this little insert and in the insert every month, as I said, there is a website like code to type in your search engine and it takes you directly to the video tutorial for two pieces of jewelry. And I can pop up on the screen what those two pieces of jewelry look like this month and they are delightful and right on trend. If you're following the jewelry trends, you know that seashell jewelry is having a moment. It's really a big thing right now in 2024. And this box is absolutely adorable in very summer turquoise and blue colors. I absolutely love it. So I'll just start with the first thing. When I first looked at these little beads, I thought they were metal, but they are glass and they're like a dark bronze. Um, so if you want to go let me open the bags if you want to go on the website with the code that's on these little bags you can order more of the beads that are in can't get this one open more of the beads that are in the box sorry i lost my train of thought because the bag was not cooperating but look how gorgeous these are they look like a dark, like bronzy metal, but they are glass. They're like a little turbine bead or like a little lantern bead. Let me get a piece of wire and just show you how cute these are. These are such great spacers. Look at that beautiful little bead. I love check glass. The, I'm always impressed with all the detail, no matter how small the bead is, all the detail in the glass and any of the beads from the Czech Republic that are faceted, the faceting is just wonderful. So if you um, are interested in getting this box, I will put my discount code and links in the description box of this video, but if not, there's a little number code, so you can take a screenshot as I unbox. There's a little number code. If there's a certain bead that you just love, you can shop the website too. It is an enormous website, just really, <laughs> really, really like full, jam-packed. It's not only for jewelry makers. In fact, it's also for crafters of other type. So I think I'm going to start making a little pile and, um, just so the beads are out here so we can look at them. I'm always at a little bit of a loss with this box because if I take the beads out of the bag, there's no way for me to know which code corresponds to which bead in case I want to order more. So anyway, I'll do it this way and try to keep my bags in order. And then this month's project incorporated some seed beads and these are absolutely gorgeous. They're like a metallic turquoise. They're absolutely beautiful. And you know what? I'm going to put them in this little, tiny little dish so we can look at them. I don't want them to get away from me. <laughs> look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that beautiful metallic turquoise. I love those. They are gorgeous. And there is a beautiful little bronze anchor charm in this month's box. There's the code 39307. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? I have never seen this charm. I love it. I love how it's very petite. You can see it's like the tip of my finger, 
but I love how it has a rope design around the anchor. Very nautical, perfect with seashells. I absolutely love that. And then up next are two, a pair of seashells. I love, there's the code on those. I love the color of these check glass shells. They have a like turquoise wash and it looks like a Picasso wash and a turquoise wash. It looks like they have a double coating and this is just a beautiful bead. There's a detail all the way around, just all the way around. I, I mean, you can definitely use these in the project that is laid out with this Bohem style box. But if you want to branch out and do your own things, they're your beads once you get the box, as I always say, and this would be a beautiful little pair of earrings. I'm crazy about those, and these are gorgeous. This is what I was saying with check glass. Even just a common check glass round is really not common because the facets are so beautiful and the quality of the glass. And look at this gorgeous opaque turquoise color. Absolutely beautiful. There's the little code for that one if you are doing screenshots. Look at those, just gorgeous. Got a little stash there. And this next bead is probably my favorite bead in this box. I am crazy for the color of this bead. It's a very pale aqua, but it is um, like part, oh, one got away. And I really don't wanna even lose one of these. Let me come back. <laughs> look at there's the code for that one it's very small but look how beautiful this is there's a little areas on these that are opaque and little areas that are like just the glass I mean I am fascinated let me put a couple on here because it looks like there each one has is a little different Look how perfect the facets are and what a color. I am in love with this color. I would go on the website and order more of these. I don't think I've ever seen this color. And it looks like each one is its own, you know, they're almost like natural stone, even though it's glass, just because each one has its own personality. And look, no two are really alike. How beautiful. I love this bead. That is absolutely gorgeous make a little pile there with those how pretty and then we have another bag with seashells these also have a beautiful color wash to them look at that they look like they're like copper washed and with a turquoise or some kind of a blue wash I don't take the time to go on the website and look up the number code on all the bags to like see what the exact name is because I, it would the boxing the unboxing would be an hour long so that's why i'm showing you the code in case you just fall in love with the color of anything you can easily go find it but look how gorgeous this is it's a little conch shell so pretty and again they're planned out in the projects in this box but with three beads if you're doing something besides the project in this box three is lovely for a bracelet or you can make a pair of earrings and then incorporate the third one in a necklace or a bracelet it's like the perfect quantity to play with i'm crazy about those put those over here and then these are beautiful these are little bicone beads and again, they look like metal. They kind of look, appear to be like a metal spacer, but it is glass. They are so beautiful. And here again, I have to say, for such a small bead, there, the last one does not want to come out and I want him out. Let me show you the code on that one. For such a small bead, look how perfect it is and this is um, one of my favorite check glass shapes which I say when I say that I'm like well this might not be exciting for some of you but it's a pressed glass bicone and it's you know doesn't have the sharp edges of a crystal bicone but you get the amazing shape and you get those angles which make absolutely beautiful spacers. They really showcase like a druck or a, you know another bead that you would string it next to. I mean, they're just beautiful. And again, this looks like it's maybe three millimeter. 
and and for being such a small bead it is amazing I wanted to get another one on this wire and it doesn't want to go look at that aren't they beautiful I love this little stash of beads and I love this dark color that they have incorporated or curated in with the water blues and turquoises because it does kind of have that sunken treasure that kind of darkness that happens to things when it's submerged in salt water so you know for a piece of jewelry that's kind of um, oceanic or nautical themed it's just beautiful and so you look at the the antique brass with those darker colors and then you know with the aquas it's so beautiful it's just really really stunning they are they are really complementing each other and contrasting each other and it just like makes a beautiful piece of jewelry so again if you love the two projects that these are set out for and made for that's wonderful but there is a lot of possibility if you wanted to do one of your own designs oh i knew i lost one my beads are trying to get away from me today oh and there's three more of these beautiful conch shell in check glass they're so detailed and these have a brighter um, turquoise wash so just to show you the difference this one has that like blue, that depths of the ocean blue is what that one reminds me of. And then this one, like look at this, it's that patina almost that happens to metal when it's near salt water or salt air. You know, if you see a, a coastal home with a copper weather vane, it will patina to this turquoise. And it, it's just, this is just amazing that this is glass and that it looks like that. So here's the code in case you love that color. Look how beautiful these are. I just love that fresh, pretty turquoise. And look at these with the turquoises in the box. How stunning. I cannot wait. I really see a bracelet in my future. Oh my, these are gorgeous. And then with this box, you get all the findings. So I have a whole handful of findings over here. So we have a little small jump ring. Uh, crimp beads come in this box. Let me put them over the white so you can see crimp beads. So you don't fold these over, you just smash them and it makes the crimp for you. And if you do any kind of a floating design where where your bead stringing wire is showing in between the beads these are so fun and easy to work with and i love having this color of the crimp beads in my stash and then you got plenty of jump rings in the box and then for the projects that um, i've put the picture up for there are two of these rings large very thick gauged jump rings that you can open they're not solid so again use them as they were intended or use these for your own special design and then there's some extender chain and it looks like there's two packages of extender chain because there's a bracelet and a necklace so you have this beautiful i love this chain this is beautiful but again if you wanted to do like little dangling earrings with the chain from a seashell that would be a really pretty really pretty design i love that i'll leave this little chain out here and let's see another oh, this looks like curb chain this is like an oval link chain and this one is a curb chain yeah this one oh two curb chain oh so maybe one is for the bracelet and one is for the necklace and these are so sweet they have the little bobble on the end of the chain so you don't have an empty link on the end of your chain which i love that that is one of my signature things in jewelry i never leave an empty link on the end of an extender chain whether it's a necklace or a bracelet or an anklet and you know, i when i see when i say little bauble uh, it reminds me one of our members of our sweet community left me a message under one of my videos and she called these floofies <laughs> and i thought it was so cute i texted her and said can i please have your word for my for the rest of my videos all my little baubles and dangles i think i'm going to start calling them floofies <laughs> i wish i could remember her name i read all the comments and it just made me laugh i'm reading the comments and laughing with what she said it was so cute 
cute. But yeah, those are it's so nice to have those little extender chains. And then we have lobster claw clasps that match the metals in the box and this beautiful gold bead stringing material to do the bracelet and necklace. So I love this little Bohem style box. I get both of the boxes from this company called Craftica. I get the other one which is called Check Beads Exclusive and I'm gonna come back with a second video and unbox that one. OMG, you are gonna love it. It's really good this month. Um, but if you're interested, check the description box and you can definitely shop the website or subscribe to this box or the next one that I'm going to to share with everybody and they these beads do come directly from the Czech Republic so for me that is just so exciting I love all the cultures of the world I love to travel and I love the different beads that come from different places you know like when I go to Italy I get the Murano glass and you know any uh, I love the beads from India I have a little collection of African beads one of my best friends in the world was born in Africa and so um, anyway the, the beads from the Czech Republic they have their own beauty and I just love that so when I get my little box from DHL and it says Czech Republic it's just a little cheap thrill for me I just I just love it so this is a really beautiful box really fun easy projects this month so check the description box and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel it is a great way to support my work and if you like my content tap that bell notification and that way when I upload another video you will not miss the notification you won't miss it and almost always when I do an unboxing almost always I come back and do a project with the beads so if you need an idea you know you can pretty much always find one on my channel so I thank you so much for watching I hope everyone is safe and well and having fun on your beading mats and I will see you in the next video ciao jewelry making friends